that traffic and now fewer parking spaces on this busy weekend in downtown Syracuse. The city of Syracuse shut down a parking garage deemed unsafe and not clean. And some people think it belongs to the Barry at Syracuse downtown. In this one of your stories, News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan clears up the understandable confusion. Brianna Adams drives in from Manoa to work downtown. Her car was inside. There's crowds gathering and talking about what was going on. When she found this notice outside of a parking garage shut down by city codes, deemed unfit for use, Adams can easily see and smell why. The elevators and the stairwells definitely stink. Stink they of what? Urine. Urine, feces, and trash. City codes lists among 10 violations, also including drug use, crime, lack of security, behind on structural inspections, certifications, and News Channel 9 has learned delinquent on property taxes. My issue this week was actually getting out of the garage. The card reader machines uh, stuck me in there for about 20 minutes on Monday, and nobody was around. Um, I tried calling the number on the office, and nobody picked up. Similar concerns to what the general manager of the neighboring Marriott hears. We do get a lot of complaints from guests that assume that it's our parking garage. It's absolutely not our parking garage, um, but they do share with us that it doesn't feel safe, that they've had concerns about the safety. Getting out is very confusing. Certain stairwells, I guess, have been chained off to be able to use them. It is confusing. The parking garage attached to the hotel with the Hotel Syracuse name is not the hotel's. When the Marriott Syracuse downtown reopened, it affiliated with this garage, Kitty Corner. It even has the Marriott logo on it. We have plenty of parking in our garage, so everybody can comfortably park there for the same price that they would have paid in that garage anyway. She isn't worried about this weekend's parking being any better or worse because of one garage, even with the possibility of record crowds. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. It has been nearly a year since the city shut down another garage, that one on South Warren Street, which had also been deemed unfit.